So today we are going to be wrapping up this little trilogy we like to call the Delirium Trilogy with Requiem, the third and final book, hence Trilogy. This one, I... <laughs> it's worth reading, but just don't prepare, just prepare for a bit of a letdown. So now we're just gonna throw some spoils at you. Just so okay yeah okay cool great I knew I had the knowledge that it was a bit disappointing because I had heard from several people that it's a great series but the end is kind of like eh? basically how I felt like I knew it was happening but I was like okay this is this is this is okay what I liked about Requiem let's see I really liked seeing Hannah's side of her whole like cure and it not really working and all that junk. I really like that Grace got brought back into the story at the end and I really like the fact that Lena saved her after Grace saved her in Delirium. And I really liked that Lena's mom got brought back and I liked that they actually got to know each other sort of. It's a good story but there's no real resolution and that's really the problem that I had. It's not a bad ending. It's just really vague. It leaves a lot of questions. What a better place to start than the very end. Take down the walls. That is after all the whole point. You do not know what will happen if you take down the walls. You cannot see through to the other side. You don't know whether it will bring freedom or ruin or chaos or resolution. It might be paradise or destruction. Take down the walls. Living closely, building barricades, blah, 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 blah. So otherwise you may never know hell, blah, blah, blah. All of you, wherever you are, spiny cities and one bump towns, find it the hard stuff, links to the middle, chains, blah, 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 pull, 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 take down the walls. That's beautiful. You know, but after it, <laughs> there's like nothing because that's the end of the book. This like build to nothing. All the book ends with them breaking, like just tearing down the wall in Portland. Like that's not a conclusion. We, this whole revolution type thing. And it's like, what, what do they even get done tearing the wall down? Do they get caught? What happens? Like what's going on with the rest of the country? Because isn't this supposed to be a big day in that way? It was just really annoying. Probably my largest issue was freaking Alex. I'm sorry, you just, it, it, uh. In the end of Pandemonium when, you know, we see him and he tells, he's like, don't believe her. I'm like, okay, he's a jerk, something's happened. He's been cured and now he's like undercover or something. Thing. But no, that's not that's not the case. He's just a jerk now. I just, it, there's no reason why. And he got shot in the chest, but somehow he lived. I was supposed to die, but I just couldn't. Like, that's not a real explanation for anything. That's just weird and doesn't make sense at all. And he acts like he's so self-sacrificing. He's like, he leaves her that note and is like, just think of the story of Solomon. And yeah, that story is about sacrifice, but you're not sacrificing anything. You come back, get all up in her face, try to make her jealous with coral. Like, no, that's not self-sacrificing. That's just mean. I never understand also why the self-sacrificing thing is such a like huge draw because it doesn't make sense to me like if I find this person that I love or whatever I'm not just going to assume like even if they have like another significant other I'm not just gonna be like well I'm just gonna sacrifice myself and let her be happy just kidding I'm gonna go hang out with this chick Coral and I'm just gonna be a butt and tell her that I never loved her I'm just gonna be like Hey, what's up? I'm not dead anymore. I still like you. I think you're still cool. What do you want to do about this Julian kid? Like, but no, no, no. And then when he freaking just leaves after leaving her that note, it, 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 I was just like, oh, oh, I didn't know that freaking Edward Cullen was in this book. I had no idea. Like, no, what, what is this? You just leave and you're like, just think of this. I really don't understand his whole ordeal and he really made me mad and the end when oh this made me so mad here I am the sun feels overly bright and all of a sudden I can think of nothing to say no words to describe everything I've thought and wished and wondered I I got your note he nods is Julian I don't know where Julian is is it true is what true that you still love me I need to know like the wall is getting broken down and you're being all melodramatic. It's true, but I've changed and you've changed. That's true too. So what now? 
Do you love me? I never stopped. I'm not gonna run away again. I don't want you to. And then they freaking kiss. There's a revolution going on and you decide that you're just gonna make this cheesy, stupid, ungrounded declaration of love. Go home. Get out. Go away. And then we have Julian, who I really liked as a character in Pandemonium, but then he just becomes nothing but like a vessel for this love triangle. That's all he is. He goes from being like a main supporting character to like a background character that Lena just hugs whenever she's sad and cries about Alex too. He's way too nice. He's way too nice. She, actually, you know, she probably should end up with Alex because Julian is way too nice for this girl. And then the whole thing with Hannah and her story being totally unresolved, I was really hoping that Hannah would somehow join the resistance, leap over to the wilds, break through her, her cure, and leave the whole crap behind. Only thing that really happens is she tells her husband to stay in the house and it blows up, which was pretty cool. The last thing we see of her is her just running or walking. She's not even running, she's just walking and nothing. Did she get another pair? Did she just stay? Did she ever break through the cure? Because obviously it didn't completely work for her. When Lena and Hannah get reunited, I really thought that Lena was gonna like help her escape and Hannah was gonna tell her about how like she, the cure didn't really work for her or something, but no, no. She tells her that she turned her and Alex in, Lena and Alex in, and then Lena slaps her, nothing else. And then she, just, it's so weird. A character that I really liked that I was really disappointed didn't really get to be in the story was Cassie. I was really interested in this whole, like, Hannah figuring out that her husband was kind of like a potential serial killer. Like, that's what I thought was gonna happen. I thought there was gonna be something with Fred Hargrove being a serial killer and he was gonna be this underground criminal. All those bad things aside though, I did think it was a good book. It just showed a lot of character flaws and at least we can say one thing about this is that it shows the fact that humans are deeply, 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 deeply flawed and annoying. <laughs> I wish there was like another hundred pages or another book or something. I am going to leave you now and let me know what you thought of the Delirium series. Let me know what you thought of Requiem. Let me know what you think about Alex. I'm, I'm done being mad about this book. It's in the past. It's in the past. That's all for now. So <laughs> bye. that little turd. I don't like that word. I don't know why I said it.